it's Christy from Creatively Christy and we are going to do the next weekly spread in my moon planner. So let's see here. This will be another birthday spread just because I have two family birthdays within two weeks of each other. So but this is for my daughter who turned nine. I needed a reminder there for my daughter's birthday but. and I decided to go with the purple that's over here so I won't be covering this page up today like I usually do thought I'd run with it you know and I am gonna put the dinners here but I just don't know what they are yet because I have to sit down with my husband and plan out what we are going to have and we also I have a budget planner, so we go through that. I don't really decorate it. That's why you guys have not seen um, a video of it. And also, it's very personal information, so I don't want to put that on the internet. So don't worry. You're not missing out on anything because there's hardly any stickers in there. So um, I have my Recollections rainbow washi tape, so I pulled out these two because we're going with pink and purple and my daughter did have a kind of birthday party not really but I ordered cupcakes anyways but because I just think COVID is not going to stop us from having cupcakes um yeah so we went with pink and purple cupcakes and I'm just going to cover this because I don't put financial stuff in my catch all just because we have a planner for that so I just look at that one I don't need reminders of bills and stuff in here because we already have a planner for that and I always look at it when we need to so And I have lost my other scissors, so I'm working with gigantic scissors today, which is, it's fine. And I already had pre-cut washi out on my planning sheets, but it, I wanted straight edges, so that's what we're doing. Getting washi straight is like not one of my strengths. Don't want to go. Over. I want to go over the purple because it'll show up underneath this pink washi. You just have to smooth out as you go. All right. See, I can never get it quite the same, and these gigantic scissors are not helping. I'm fine with it. I'm fine. We'll just leave it. Now, I know everybody uses those reverse tweezers to um, pick up stickers, but I can't get the, the hold right on those tweezers, and it's just more annoying than it's worth, so I do not bother with that regular tweezers I don't know I use them for my quilling when I do quilling but I don't like to use the same ones for planning just because um, if I press too hard on them then they bend and I don't like that I can't quill with bent 
tweezers. So I always cover up to buy because right now I have no business buying anything really other than what we need. But who doesn't get caught by the FOMO of Happy Planner? And I've seen the other planners that are coming out for the spring release and I want some of them but I don't know what I would do with them and I don't want to redate them so I think I'm just gonna maybe sit that one out. Unless I find something really good, maybe there will be a good horizontal one that I could use as a journal. Who knows? Oh my. Keep ripping stickers. This poor sticker. It's been through the ringer. It's a little haggard, but I'm going to keep it in there. I love these little sprinkles. They're so cute. Oh yeah, so this is from the Life is a Party book. And that's basically, other than the washi, that's all I used is this one sticker book. Which is an amazing feat for me, you guys, to only use one sticker book for a spread. I'm ripping stickers left and right here, trying to be gentle, but I'm getting excited about this spread. Oh snap, she likes that kind of stuff, so. I'm gonna let her help me a little bit pick out the stickers. Like she said, she wanted pink and purple, so I just ran with it. Going to overlap the stickers ever so. Sorry if I just butchered that English accent. I do like accents, I think they're fun. But I am not good at them, so disclaimer, don't be offended by the accents that I try to do because I'm just not good at them. kind of wish I had one. I know to some of you it might sound like I have one, but to me I just I don't hear it. Probably because I'm used to it. Sprinkles everywhere. I love sprinkles. <sighs> Maybe I should do like a a TikTok where I do every sticker the wrong way. Like nothing's even. Like a cringe video, you know. But then how many people will be mad at me? <laughs> so this week, other than her birthday, we don't have much going on. Scott does work on Saturday. We're having my daughter's father and his girlfriend over for dinner on the Tuesday for her birthday, which should be interesting because we've never done it before. Hopefully it'll go good. I think it's good for my daughter to see all of us together getting along for her, right? So, yeah. It's all good, guys. It's all good. I'm sure I'll have a ton of cleaning to do on Wednesday, so 
There's these bullet lists, which as stickers are cute, but when I see them in my planner, I'm just like, ugh, great. Because I'm one of those people that, I think like most people, who hate cleaning. And when you have a tiny condo like I do, you're cleaning constantly, so it gets messier faster. I love these balloon stickers. Oh, you guys can see anything I'm doing. Put them right there. Aren't they cute, the balloon stickers? So, I want to give my daughter's name in balloon stickers. She loved it. So, funny little tidbit of information here. I picked her name, like she's turning nine. So, I picked her name ten. Well, nine and a half, I guess, years ago is when I really picked it. Um, and I picked this name because I didn't see it anywhere and nobody had it. And it was one of those older names, but still pretty. Like, you know, those older names and you're like, oh, that's not a very pretty name. But this one is still pretty. So I picked it and then fast forward four years when I had her in daycare when I was working and there were three other girls in her daycare, just in her daycare, that had the same name. So, I don't know. When I named my second daughter, Olivia, I knew it was popular and I was just like, I don't care if anyone has it because it seems like it just really doesn't matter picking a name that's not is popular anymore because they just keep coming back around in popularity so uh, I also picked this sticker because it was pink and purple and my daughter loves to have little dance parties by dance party I mean just us dancing to music in our house Not an actual party so don't come after me COVID police it's just our family. And of course, Saturday is a multitude of cleaning and to do's. Sunday is my filming and planning day. It's always good when I can get my filming done on a Saturday, but I didn't have time yesterday, so. Last sprinkles. Oh, I like this even better than the last birthday spread. So I will be doing a different type of birthday spread for my birthday and my second daughter's birthday. It will be different and it won't be I mean, some of the stickers might be from the Life is a Party book, but I have some cool ideas, but that's not going to happen until May and August, so you guys will have to wait. Alright, so again, I used my Rainbow Solids washi, which will put the colors back in there. I think I'm missing one got it at Michael's and Life is a Party sticker book. So I will link these in the description like I always do. I don't know about the washi. If I could find it, I'll link it, but I mean it's at Michael's so you can get it there. It's a Recollections brand, so that's Michael's store brand. Um, I love this pink and purple spread. If you guys like it, give this video a like. If you want to see more of my stuff, then just hit that subscribe button. See you later.